My name is Joan McCleskey and I'm 58 years of age. I am currently unemployed. I've been unemployed since August 14, 2009. I am originally from Atlanta, Georgia. We grew up very, very poor. My mother raised three children by herself. I went to a community college and took typing out. Back then, you know, you needed typing, and so I took typing and shorthand. I never used my shorthand, but I, I did have that, and that was all the education I ever had. I've been working since I was 13 years of age. I've never been, not been able to find a job. I've always found one, and, uh, excuse me. So, um, anyway, I've always found one. I've never had a problem, and uh, now they want me to, you know, people might would hire me if I start back out making $7, seven dollars seven fifty an hour, but, um, you know, I've worked hard and long all my life, and and not to be able to find a job now is, it's, it's hard. May of 2000, I moved to Florida. And then I got back into banking. I always loved banking and uh, knew one day I'd get back into it, and so I did. I went to um, a small community bank again, Trans Capital Bank. They opened up a branch on the West Coast and all the other branches was on the East Coast. And it was a small branch, and I was um, branch operations supervisor there. Handled all the audits, uh, the tellers, and was in charge of the branch whenever the manager was not there, and loved it. After uh, two and a half years with the bank there, uh, they told me that they came over, all the president and the vice president came over, and told us that they had just sent a letter out to the customers and they were closing the branch in 90 days. So the branch itself was doing great, but people in the, in the company, in the bank, had made bad loans. And they came to our area and made some of these loans. And they got caught up in the housing of making bad mortgage loans and were getting default on them. So they needed to cut their cost. We didn't know anything about the loans or that the, they had bad loans. We knew nothing about it. And why on earth did we let that happen where all these people got loans on houses that could not afford them? Or they bought a house that was too much house for them. Um, what happened to all the regulations and the regulators that were supposed to be keeping their eyes on these people not letting this happen? Down in Southwest Florida, there are right now 35,000 plus people unemployed. And um, there are a lot of construction people that are out of work, a lot of real estate people out of work, a lot of mortgage people, a lot of bankers out of work. Um, they're downsizing all of the banks. Uh, cutting the hours, cutting the benefits. So banking is not a good place to try and find a job. Even though you may have background, you know you've got to look other places too. And there, whenever you go to apply for a job, most of the time there's at least 2,000 people or more applying for that job. It's, it's a hardship on everybody. You see so many businesses down here that have closed. So many vacancies and, and empty buildings and shopping centers with vacancies. They've built all these new shopping centers and they're all vacant. They have no renters, no tenants. This is not what I expected, not what I wanted for myself. Most everything I'd saved up to that point I've had to pay bills with. I've had to use it to um, pay things with, and so uh, the savings is not there like you hope it would be. I've been without insurance since December because the plans are too high. You know, you don't make that much on unemployment, 
and so you really watch every penny you spend. I have uh, an excellent working history. Um, I've always been a very good, loyal employee, honest, trustworthy, and very dependable. And I thought that's what everybody wanted when they hired people, and I'm finding out that's not what they want. They want somebody that's younger, that will accept a lot less money, and these are, these are the times. And I do enjoy life, but not um, in a way that I want to enjoy life, um, because I have my boyfriend, my grandsons, my daughter, and, and my boyfriend's grandchildren and his children. I mean, we do enjoy life, um, but I feel like I'm not complete right now because I'm not working, I'm not contributing like I need to. And uh, so I, I want to get out there and I want to find a job where it will help. I, I will help. I will feel complete again, a whole um, where I can contribute.